hey you guys welcome back to my channel so I was getting ready as you guys know I'm still unpacking and I was getting ready because I moved all my palettes in these little Dollar Tree crates like this and so I was getting ready to organize them and put them away where they need to be so that they can be put away and I figured why not show you guys <laughs> my eyeshadow collection now I'm not going to be swatching these um, just because it'll take entirely too long and it'll be a mess but I did just want to share with you some of my palettes that I have in my collection. So let's start with this one. This is the Profusion Chocolates palette. It came with this brush. Really, really pretty colors. Love that one. I believe you can still get this one in Target. That's where I got it from. It was really, really reasonable. Um, can't remember how much. I think it was like $9.99. I love that green um that one a lot of these up here can be used as highlighters really pretty so that is my chocolates palette okay and i don't know i'm just randomly picking up whatever i grab here's my pure festival palette really really pretty love those colors now i am a makeup i guess i would call myself a makeup junkie um, but at the same time, um, I do use a lot of them, but however, I don't wear, um, makeup on a daily basis. So a lot of my palettes have been used, but not like ran down yet. So like I use this one a lot and this one, and as you can see, some of this is missing right here, but I don't use them like on a daily. So they don't go as fast as other people. Uh, this one was from BoxyCharm really really pretty colors this was the boxycharm pure uh, palette here's my the zulu by juvia's place that one still had the plastic on it this one i use a lot of the green that blue one and this one right here really pretty colors there's this matte purple that i need to start messing with i did use these two before but i really like this palette Let's see. Um, I think this is my lip palette. Yeah, this is um, the Urban Decay uh, lipstick is my vice palette. So that's my lipsticks. That's actually still a palette, but um, yeah, as you can see, I use those a lot. But And it also has that um, lipstick pencil down here. I didn't mean to show you guys this because it's actually lipstick and it's not eyeshadow, but... I think I just threw it in there. Here's my other one. I think I just threw it in here just because. And it looks like that. I don't use this one as much as the other one. But I do use it. And these colors are so pretty. So, so pretty. So that, that was in there by accident. I have the Profusions Mix Palette. Um, I think my... YT, one of my YT sisters sent this one to me. Nine matte and metallic eyeshadows. If I can get it open. And I'm trying to hurry up because I'm by this window and the sun is getting ready to go down. So, you have this right here. Those pretty colors. Look at that. Those are so pretty. I wish I could just wake up every day and just really just throw on um, makeup, but I get so lazy. Like, I like to have it for when I really want to get dressed up. That's highlighter. That's not, um, that's the Moschino and Sephora collection. That was some highlighter. Um, yeah, I wish I could just get up. This is also a lipstick palette. Um, I used a few of those, but I didn't use a lot of that. And who is this? This is the Ish. The Ish Lip Palette. Um, yeah, but I just don't never have um, the Morphe. I never have the time to just do this on a daily basis. I don't think I used any of these. Look at all those browns, though. Aren't those pretty? And you have the names on them right here. Look at that. So pretty. Did I use any of those? I don't think I have yet. <laughs> That's horrible. But, yeah. So... One day, I'll graduate and start wearing more makeup. Let me show you this one since it's sitting out. You have this one. This is the Jeremy Scott. I love, love, love the packaging on this 
collection I do have the eyeshadow was it no not the eyeshadow the blush and the highlighter which came in a CD container and then I have the lip palette which came in a little cassette love those let me open this okay so there you have it and those are the colors and I've only used a couple of these however what I will say is even though don't you see this looks like an equalizer for music but um what I will say is I'm not a big fan of the eyeshadows that come in the small pans like this uh, I still will use them I need to get more active with this one I just love it I love it though um, yeah so those are the colors and they did have the names in there but yeah, this was definitely limited edition and I had to have that one. Next up is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. Look at those colors. Super pretty and it smells yummy. This is actually one of my go-to palettes. That's Now that one, I'll use that. I'll pick that one up often. Also this one, the Alamar Cosmetics. I absolutely love this one. I love these two colors right here as well as that one. And I have used this one down here. If you have not purchased any products from Alamar, you should try this one out. This one is really, really nice. Okay, let me hurry up because the sun is creeping. This one is Butter London. I think I just recently got this one in like, um, where did I get this? Like Poshmark or uh, where? who got this? Where did I get this? Not Poshmark. Why did I say Poshmark? BoxyCharm, I think. So this is the colors. Really nice. I have used that green one and this one. Star and Diva. And that was the Butter London. And I love the way the outside looks like wood. Really pretty. Here is Cargo. That's the colors right there. I've used a few of those love the dark colors on that one this one used to be my go-to palette as well love by Too Faced and it comes with the eyeliner pencil in there so those are the colors right there and as you can see I've used a lot of this one this one that one the green but these colors go on so pretty and they're so like creamy and matte not matte, but they're creamy and um, really pigmented. That's what I was trying to say. So that's one of my favorite palettes. Thank you, baby. Okay, you guys, I had to turn on the light because trying to do it by the window was just, it's, it's starting to get dark. Okay, next is Urban Decay Moon Dust. That's what that one looks like. Really pretty purples, blues. This one you can't see in the camera. It probably looks pink, but it's like this really pretty metallic orange really nice colors on on that one uh let's see this one i know i got this in boxy charm this is nightingale pretty vulgar and i don't think i used much of this one again with the small uh trays i did use this one and this one um but yeah i need to bust these out more uh this one is makeup revolution Okay, I used to use this one a lot. I cannot remember what this was. To me, I think this one was the knockoff that I, or not the knockoff, but um, the dupe. I was using this one as the dupe for the Too Faced Peach Palette because a lot of the colors did look like the Too Faced Peach Palette um, when it first, first came out, but I didn't, I couldn't get my hands on it. I don't know if you guys remember that vlog. I was really wanting that Too Faced Peach Palette and when I couldn't get my hands on it, I discovered this one which the colors remotely look the same so I just went ahead and got this and I use this one a whole lot I absolutely like that one a lot so yeah this is my go-to still to this day my chocolate gold Too Faced uh, palette I still use this one a whole lot um, this is the one that I will grab on a daily um, whenever I call myself getting dressed or feeling like throwing on some stuff Urban Decay Electric. This one I love. And I love that it comes with that brush in there. Look at those colors. Look at those. Look at these two right here. So pretty. These are definitely electric colors. I love those. Beautiful. And that's what that looks like. Lion King. I just recently got this. I don't think I've used it. But maybe... 
one time maybe yeah I know I used that color oh yeah and I did use the green but yeah I just recently showed you guys this I think I used that one but this was the Disney the Lion King by Sir John and Luminous love this palette so I need to start working with that one too here's my Too Faced chocolate bonbon I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one haven't used it that much but yeah those are the pretty colors here's my cargo cosmetics I think I got this one around Christmas and I loved it because of the pearl light colors and these green ones right here those green colors right there I thought those were really nice and it does come with a brush and I think I picked this one up at Marshalls or TJ Maxx yeah from one of them places I can't remember um what is this tart oh my god I gotta hurry up I still got two but two baskets over there okay this was the tart rainforest of the sea used it I think one time and that was it so far looks like that my Juvia the tribe palette I've used this one a lot these two right here their palette their colors are so pretty and I didn't think this one was going to be really pigmented because yellows tend not to be but if you use a white base with this one oh it works out so pretty um but yeah I love Juvia's place palettes what is this I can't remember the douche is it douche or douche douche I don't know how you say that but that's that palette really pretty colors just haven't messed around with it too often all right you guys we got two more to go let's get into let's do this one real quick I'm gonna go a little faster this one I got sent in a PR package was which was by rude cosmetics 24 peekaboo pixies um, I've used a few of these especially these two right here really nice they have some nice um, eyeshadows for a very very reasonable cost you guys saw me just recently show you guys this one the glam light viva taco palette I love these colors and you guys they work so good I know I showed you guys this recently but if you are considering getting a very pigmented um, eyeshadow palette and you're not sure which one to get check out the um, glam light because they're they're um, eyeshadows are beautiful look at that orange they have some really really nice colors I also ended up getting that um, burger one the really big burger one and that's what that one looks like their colors are so nice and creamy and they don't have a they don't have any fallout really at all so that's what that palette looks like this was the machino this is not a toy this is the Machino for Sephora collection palette that looks like a little teddy bear. And this is what those look like. Let me see. I'm trying to let the light get it. There you go. Really pretty colors. I love those blues down there. And so, yeah, that was that one. One of my favorites, the Karuchi and ColourPop. Uh, am I opening it? Yeah. And there's what those look like. For some reason, these aren't picking up on camera. Like, they seem a little blurry to me. So I had to mess with it just to show you that. But this palette is really nice. Love that. Here's the Misunderstood by ColourPop. They are another one of my favorite uh, eyeshadow um, palettes to purchase. This one I used a lot. That one, the gold next to it and some of these other colors there's a lot of shimmer in these look at that black one see how sparkly that is really really pretty the two play the two face totally cute and you were able to put the stickers out here i did that <laughs> that was my creation and this is one of the palettes that i did use a lot a lot 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 love those greens and that pink right there and then it also comes with these over here so yeah this was one of my favorite ones to grab 
Okay, then you got the Too Faced Peanut Butter Palette. Also one of my favorites to pick up. And there's the colors right there. Love those purples. So I usually, I used to grab that one a lot too. I think what I'm going to have to do is start putting stuff out for the week and keep stuff in rotation so that I, I don't neglect certain ones. Because some of these, I love them, but I just don't use them. Um, this was the Main Squeeze ColourPop. And that was this one right here. Okay, then you got this Bella. No, that's a blush. That doesn't count. The Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions. Love those purples. Had to get this. You guys know purple between purple and gold. Those are my two favorite colors. So I had to get the Amethyst um, Huda Beauty. And the last one in here was Burberry. It says Burberry right there. And I think I got this one from Marshalls. And the colors just look like that. They're really creamy and nice. Um, they're not super pigmented, which I was a little disappointed because I was like, for this to be Burberry, I thought it was going to be like mega, mega pigmented, but they weren't. But yeah, here's another Morphe Brunch Babe 15B palette. And as you can see, it's still in the package. I have not used this at all. Let's see. And I don't know what, well, have I? No, I haven't. I think I swatched it for you guys. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But those are the colors. Really nice. So that's that one. And this last one, because I am making a giant mess. Um, but I'm trying to hurry up. Okay, let's see. What is this? Solo. I don't know where I got this from. I think this came from... Oh, I think I got this in a PR package as well, and I haven't used it. I definitely will mess with this one soon because those colors are super bright. Really nice. What was that one? Solo Giovane. Giovan? I'm not sure. But yeah. <laughs> and this next one is the Revolution, the Emily, the Once palette. Um, and I just thought this one was super pretty when I got it. Love that one right there. Look at those colors. I know it's upside down, but I wanted you to be able to see it. Love this palette as well. And yeah, I got this one at um, Ulta. Yeah, at Ulta. This one I just recently got in my Boston Bay box. And this was the Suns Out Buns Out by Chantilly Cosmetics. And that's what they look out look like. Look at the buns. <laughs> But that's the colors, and this one is really nice. Love all those burnt like oranges and the yellow and the browns. Really, really pretty palette. And this was my first time ever having one of those by that brand. Summer Nights. And those are the colors. Look at this one. Pretty. Okay. What else? Pure Midnight Masquerade. This one looks like that. I haven't used this one at all. Uh-oh. Um, Element of Surprise ColourPop. I use this one a lot. Love those colors. And that one was that. The Ace Beauty. I don't even remember this one. <laughs> Look at that, but those colors are pretty. I'm trying to think now that I'm pulling this out and I'm doing this, even when I was moving. Um, my YT sister sent me this one. I was on a hunt for this for a long time and I couldn't find it. And she sent this to me, the Too Faced Glitter Bomb. Um, but now that I'm looking through these, I'm wondering if I should clear some of these out. Maybe give some to my niece or someone else, a friend or something, because... I don't think I need all of these, <laughs> even though I love them all. But look at all of that. Look at all that glitter. So pretty. And then you have the matte white and the matte black one on the end. And I love the packaging because the glitter actually moves in the package. Super pretty. Here is the Glam Metals.
crown. I've used this one a lot. Well, to me, that's a lot. I know to somebody else, they'll be like, okay, you don't even see the pan at the bottom. Like, it's not worn down, but to me, it's a lot. Uh, that one, I think this one came in a BoxyCharm, which is why um, BoxyCharm is always good because it's $21 a month. If you don't get it, you can check down below. I have a link down there uh, that you can use if you want to sign up to get your um, subscription box. But those are the colors. And that was Violet Boss Pro Eyeshadows. We are almost done, you guys. Okay, these two right here were two of my favorite, favorite, favorite ones. These were the Roses, the Roses and the Golden's CoverGirl True Naked palettes. Very cute. I like that. I use this one a lot, the Roses. Uh, here's the Profusion Spectrum. I think Profusion sent this to me. Yeah, they did very pretty colors look at that see I need to have this out on my shelf so I can just use this right now it's summertime and I know I will not bust this out probably in the fall and the winter so I need to be using that right now here's the Sienna's just like the chocolate palette uh, the Sienna's is just as nice as the chocolate palette and I got this at Target as well and it was very reasonably priced and it does come with this brush right here so that's what that looks like. The Protégé by Suva. I don't think I've used this. Yeah, I haven't used these colors at all. But this one is pretty. They're all pretty, but I like that one. Balance. That looks like that. And let me see. Three, four, five more to go, you guys. Okay, this one I used to use a lot. The Carucci uh, Fem Rosa She Palette. I use that a lot. This was one of my go-tos as well. Love those pretty colors on that one. I don't even know if they still have that on the website, but yeah. Here's Party Animal by Laura Lee. Pretty colors. Look at that pink one. Very nice. And that looks like that. Uh, here's a crown palette. I think I used um, this one a few times. And that just says crown on the front. And the last two is my smoky or smoked urban decay. And you unzip it. It has the mirror over there. It comes with this eyeliner pencil in the middle. And this was also one of my go-tos when I go somewhere like in the evening, my nighttime palette. This is one of the ones I like to grab, especially for that blue one right there or this one over here. And it does have the mirror, but this is what it looks like. And last but not least, this one right here. This is Makeup Forever, and I did this a long time ago at Sephora, and these are... Um, magnetic little pans in there that you can pop out so if you wanted to you can buy your own colors these are the three colors that I wanted to purchase at the time and put them in here so I created this little palette myself um, and I just thought those were really pretty for summer I think I bought this last year for those colors but yeah that's a makeup forever from um, yeah artist palette got this at Sephora so that is it for all of my palettes you guys and like I said I'm getting ready to organize them and put them away and what I am going to do is I'm going to start sitting out a basket this is not how I'm, I'm not organizing them in these this is what I just brought them here uh, to the new house in these um, crates but I'm gonna organize them somewhere else in a different uh, container and then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking out three maybe three or four palettes for the week and I'm going to alternate out of those three or four and then the next week pull out another three or four so that I can get some use out of all of these because I really hate to just let them just sit here because they're so pretty but I need to start using them but yeah I, like I said I just don't like to put on makeup every day because I don't be having time for that <laughs> but thank you guys all for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you all in my next video bye